Well, hello everybody. This is the Grave Man, and today we're telling a creepy past story that happened to me one day. A legend. To me, it is something that happened happened to me a long time ago. Back in the 1900s, there was something strange in my neighborhood. Well, it wasn't really a neighborhood. I considered it my own neighborhood. Just me and a couple of friends living at my house. One day, one day, I, you know, went downstairs and before I did, I heard something outside. I heard someone creeping around. I heard two almost like it was coming from both sides so I decided to go outside before I did I got my lantern downstairs and what I found was interesting but also scary because I was afraid I'll tell you that in a little bit but I was walking I decided to look around my house and there was nothing and I thought I seen two people running, whatever it was, two what it, things running, human looking beings, almost clown like what, running back into the woods. So I went to, so I went outside and I started walking kind of fast, trying to get to them. It was windy that night, storming out, so I didn't want to run too fast. But, I kept walking into the woods and I swear to God, I don't know what they did, but I was walking and all of a sudden, I seen them behind me. So I kept walking thinking I was just daydreaming and all of a sudden they started, these two, whatever they were, running at me and I just kept running. And they started laughing and cackling and it was these two clowns and I don't know what they were trying to do to me but I just kept running I kept running and I was afraid I started getting scared when I was running I tried yelling for help because I knew that these were not friendly clowns and I'm sure I've seen these people before in town it's almost like these clowns snuck into the back of my car trunk when I was driving to my new house, it's almost like they were planning to kill me this whole time. Anyway, they got me and they started beating me with a baseball bat. I don't know how they made it out of wood, but they made it out of wood. And they started making me bleed, bruised me, bruised all over me. And I couldn't escape. I didn't know what to do. At first, before they started beating me, I thought they were just messing around me. But then I looked at their clothing, and there was something off. I looked at their face, and then their clothes, and I was like, okay. These clowns are not friendly clowns. These are monsters. Terrible monsters. They had bloods on, blood all over their clothing. I didn't know what to do. I don't know what happened, but they heard something. They heard something in the woods, and they went to find out what it was. So when they were gone, when I was tied up in a rope, I wasn't hanged, but I was tied up on the ground. So I took my strength. I had strength still, and I tried desperately getting my knife out of my pocket so I did that and cut the rope off of me and I ran off thinking I would have been fine until they see then until they saw me running away when they got back and then I started yelling for help and my friend somehow heard me the woods wasn't too far away so 
my friend got out of the house and came to find out what was going on and he saw these killer clowns chasing me down. So he went in the house, got his knife out, and went <clears throat> and attacked these clowns. And somehow, me and my friend, we teamed up on these clowns and we took them down. But before that happened, when they had me roped up, tied up in a rope, they were pulling me back and forth almost like they wanted to play tug of war. And it, it just, it made no sense what they were planning on doing or what they were going to do. But one of them said they were going to tear me in half. And then luckily, there was this weird noise in the, in the forest. Luckily, I escaped when that noise occurred. When they ran off to find the, that sound and what it was, I escaped. And thank God I did. Because if I didn't, if I haven't done that, it would have been over. And I knew it would have been. And I thank my friend for that. That was nuts. The scariest thing that ever happened to me. I'll never forget that. I'll be scared for life. I was so scared I didn't even know what to do. And thank God we got home safe. We killed the clowns. We buried them. And legend has it, in the 1900s, these clowns actually died and their spirits tried killing these human beings that would try camping out near the forest. So, Maybe they took us into our into their dream, so we could kill them again, so they could find someone else to torture. But whatever they were doing, or whatever they were planning, it was not good. My friend, even his name is Even, and he saved my life, and I thank him for that. Anyways, guys, this is nineteen sixty. I just can't believe that I'm still alive. Anyways, guys, I'll let you, let you know more, maybe, if I still survive tomorrow.